Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at the leading coefficient test and how it relates to polynomial functions. First, we're going to look at some notation. So these sentences look really scary, but what this is really doing is it's defining what's called the end behavior. And that's one thing that we're interested in when we're talking about graphs of polynomial functions is the end behavior. So what's happening as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller? What's happening as x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger? So what this reads, this just reads as x approaches negative infinity, just meaning, because x can't approach negative infinity since that's not a real number, it just means as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So what happens when it's negative 10, negative 100, negative 10,000, negative 10 million? What is the dependent variable, whether that's f of x or y, what is it doing? This down here just means as x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger without bound what is the end behavior doing? For polynomial functions, the end behavior will do one of two things. Let's think about polynomials that we know. We know quadratic functions. Quadratic functions might open up like this, in which case we would say as x approaches negative infinity, just meaning as it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, notice what's happening here. The y value is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, the f of x value. So in this case, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches infinity. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's never going to randomly just like have a little loopy do over here. That's, that's very rare. I mean, it could happen, but generally when you look at a graph, you're seeing any weird things that would happen, and then it leaves the end behavior as, as we see at the ends of the graph. And then as f of x approaches infinity, so as f of, excuse me, as x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, f of x is also getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So in this case, we would say, is going towards positive infinity. So this is just defining the end behavior. And the interesting thing about polynomial functions is that that leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial tell us about the end behavior of any polynomial function. So we're going to look at some examples of that now. First, we're going to look at when the degree is even and the leading coefficient is positive. So what's very interesting about this is that they all have the same characteristic. They all have the same end behavior. We're going to look at three examples, which is never enough to make a generalization about all of the even positive polynomials, uh, but that's what we're going to have to do because that's just what I'm doing. So our first one, f of x equals x to the fourth. We can see it looks very much like a quadratic. It's just a little bit wider in the graph. And so what's happening? As we move in the negative direction, x continues to go up. As we move in the positive direction, x continues y continues to go up, excuse me, f of x, the graph goes up and up and up. In our second example, g of x, and then we have this polynomial function, we know that it's an even degree because if we look, we have x squared, so there's two, x to the one, that's three, and then three more is six. So this one's a degree six, and the leading coefficient here is 0 0.02. The only reason I chose such a small coefficient is so that it was all contained in the graph, if I used a normal size coefficient, the graph really got very skinny and it was hard to see. So in this one, as x is getting more and more negative, we can see oh, this graph is going up, 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 up. So it looks like as x is getting smaller and smaller, f of x is getting smaller and smaller. And then on the other side over here, as x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, it looks like f of x is getting, or g of x, excuse me, is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Our last example of the three positive evens, so here we have a degree 10 polynomial, and the leading coefficient, leading coefficient is 1 half. We see the same thing. The graph is going up on the left and up on the right. So if we're going to define the end behavior as x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, f of x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's never going to just stop. It's not going to hit 100 and be like, okay, I'm done. So that means that f of x approaches infinity. As x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, f of x is also getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So that means x, as x gets bigger, f of x also goes to infinity. And that's the thing. Anytime you have an even degreed polynomial with a positive leading coefficient, this will be the end behavior for all of them. Now there are things that happen in the middle, like here we see some dips and some minimums and some turning around, and then here we can see it too. But this is what the, the leading coefficient test does. It tells us about the end behavior. And then we focus on the other pieces, filling in these pieces with the, the highs and the lows and the zeros. That's separate. Okay? This time we're going to look at an even degree polynomial, but this time the leading coefficient will be negative. So our first example, it's basically the same 
uh, polynomials is last time, I just put negatives in front of all three of them. So what does a negative putting a negative in front of our leading coefficient do? It turns the graph upside down. So now as x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, f of x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. As x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, f of x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. In our second graph, it's amazing how just putting that negative in front really affected this graph. It's still the same, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, it is different. A little different. Oh well, that's fine. We're going to look at this one anyway. So this is the graph of this g of x here, as defined here, and we can see as x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller as we go towards the left, the graph is going down. As we move towards the right, the graph is going down. And then for h of x, we see the same thing. It's very stretched out. Uh, we see as x is getting uh, moving to the left, f of x is going down. As x is moving to the right, the graph is going down. So we're going to make that bold generalization here. As x approaches negative infinity, as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller without bound, f of x also gets smaller and smaller and smaller without bound. As x approaches infinity, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, f of x continues to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So any even degree function with a negative leading coefficient, the end behavior will be going I say down to the left and down to the right, towards negative infinity on the left and negative infinity on the right. Okay, let's look at our odd degree polynomials. So here we have an odd degree and the leading coefficient is positive. My three examples you can see on the right. So let's see what's going on here. For this graph, as uh, x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, what's the graph doing? It's going down towards negative infinity. As we move to the right, f of x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. In our second graph, we see the same thing. So things do happen here, but we don't really care. All we're looking at now is the end behavior. And we see after all of the twists and turns, as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, the graph moves to the uh, down. And as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the graph moves up, up, up. And our last example with h of x, we see the same thing. As we go left, the graph goes down. As we go right, the graph goes up. So we'll make that generalization as x approaches negative infinity, f of x also approaches negative infinity. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity as well. So all odd degree polynomials with a positive leading coefficient will have this. And we can see uh, it's nice because these are the same. So that's you know one, one way to kind of remember this one. And our last example, we have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient. What's that going to do? It's going to turn those graphs. It's going to flip it over some horizontal line. So we see now as x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, the, the graph is going up, up, up. It's going towards positive infinity. As x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, y or f of x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And we see that here too. It's getting bigger as x gets smaller. The graph is going down as x gets bigger. And our last example, going up and going down. So as x approaches negative infinity, here f of x approaches infinity. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches, whoops, sorry, let's try that again. As uh, x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches infinity. And as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. To summarize the end behavior of polynomials. So in order to determine what the end behavior of a polynomial function is doing, we need to know two things. We need to know whether the degree is even or odd, and we need to know whether the sign of the leading coefficient is positive or negative. Every even degreed polynomial with a positive leading coefficient will have the same end behavior. As x approaches negative infinity, as x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, f of x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's going towards infinity without bound. As x is approaching infinity, f of x also approaches infinity. So all even degreed, positive leading coefficient polynomials, they go to infinity in the end, in both directions. If we have an even degree and a negative leading coefficient, remember what this does, this takes that graph that we just saw you know, with a positive and it turns it upside down. So as x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, so is f of x. As x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, f of x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. If we have an odd degree polynomial and a positive leading coefficient, here we see as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, so does f of x. As x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, so does f of x. So when we have an odd degree positive leading coefficient polynomial, as x gets smaller and smaller, 
f of x goes towards negative infinity. As x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, f of x goes towards positive infinity. And lastly, we have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient. We would go towards infinity in the negative direction and towards negative infinity in the positive direction.